Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. It's been, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, I had some medical stuff going on and I was out of town for my birthday for like a week, so it's been several weeks, but I'm back at it. And we have new Mario Kart tracks. This was a surprise at the last Direct. Last Direct? Maybe the Direct before that. But we get free Mario Kart tracks if you have the expansion pass for Nintendo Switch Online, which I do. So let's crack into them. I'm very excited. This uh, They look like they're going to be fun. Uh, I'm not super familiar with any of them that were from the app because I only played the app a very brief, brief time. It was okay. Uh, it's, it's, I just wasn't super, super stoked on it personally. Because, I don't know, I just found it, like, a little too easy, I guess. Uh, we'll go 150cc. We're just playing around today. Not trying to break through any of the pre's. As we have been. And then, yeah, we got all of these new ones. So, we haven't done... We haven't really gone through most of these. I'm still on the banana cup. I'm trying to get that triple star. And we got these four to go, but I played through all of those, so we're going for the new ones today. We got the Golden Dash Cup. And yeah, looks like these, these 10 are still on their way. It'll be a bit. But we got the Golden Dash Cup and the Lucky Cat Cup. So let's, let's go one at a time, Golden Dash Cup. Um, yep. I did. I have the expansion pack. I should be able to do this. Come on. What's going on here? Hold on a sec. Do I need to do something in, like, the main menu? Because I, I definitely have the expansion pack. Is there a way... Do I have to do something? Uh, let's try this again. Yeah, that's my guy. Those are my loadouts. Hmm. I have I have the expansion pack. Why is it not letting me play? Huh. This is a little frustrating. Okay, let's uh let's break back out here and make sure everything's correct. Come on now. Like I should have it, right? Yeah, family membership, expansion pack, everything. I play the N64 one all the time. Um, Let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I have the family member. I have the whole thing, so I don't know why it's not... Do I need to, like, update? Let's Let's try this again. Hold on. Because I, I already did the update, I made sure to set it up. The latest version, okay. It's still not letting me, what's going on here? Let's close it out. In fact, I'm just going to restart my Switch. Sure. Or, no, I don't think I need to restart my Switch. Let's Let's just go from here. Come on now. Come on now. In fact, let me, uh, I gotta adjust something here. Hold on. Let's get this out of the way. I gotta adjust something on my setup here. There we go. Turn myself up a little bit. There it is. I can barely hear myself. Uh, let me turn it down, though. I've been really overusing my ears lately, so I don't want to completely blast my hearing out. Just a lot of fans. It's hot hot out lately so you know a lot of white noise constantly really kind of dulls your ears what is going on I have it I have the expansion pack why won't it give it to me can I do it no that one won't work either hmm what is going on Online play, maybe? Uh, really wish they'd do something more with this app. 
It's an interesting app, but it like has nothing going on. Uh, no, none of that. Am I doing something wrong here? I gotta go in. Details. Download. I have it. I downloaded it. Non-members. Uh huh. Yeah, I have the full version of the game. Do I have to go to the eShop to do it? Come on, guys. I already updated. No, I don't need to purchase it. <laughs> Download, thank you. Okay, so I had to actually go and download it. It's a separate... Why isn't it just the update? That's dumb. Okay, well, that's my bad. So... Hopefully it won't take too long. There we go. Successfully downloaded. Uh, well, I think I need to close out. And do it again. I just figured the update would be enough. I guess the update just put it into the the menus. Hmm. Strange, but okay. Okay. Mario Kart! Hey! Come on now. Work for me this time, please. Nope. I meant to do the 150. Hold on. Wait, was there a new character? Or is there something new with Link? Oh! You can do either Breath of the Wild or Ocarina. That's cute. I'm just going to stick with my guy Iggy, though. Let's keep it going. There we go. Okay, finally. Uh, that was needlessly convoluted, but... I made it work. Don't don't say I ain't never done nothing for you. All right, Mario Kart Tour. So we're starting with one from the app. <coughs> Sorry, a little horse. My uh, allergies have been going kind of crazy. Oh, they're all like super polygonal. Oh, they work polygonal in the overhead shot. Oh, just a little one. I'm, I'm a little rusty. It's been a minute. I like that they're just actual places. It's not like some Mario version of Paris. It's just like, no, you're you're just in Paris. They needed to make like a ton of courses for the uh, for the uh, app. So start drawing from real places, you know. Easy level design. Easy. Whoops. Oof. Yeah, I am pretty rusty. There we go. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, is Waluigi going to give me trouble this time? There's always one in a Grand Prix who just, like, is constantly giving you trouble. I can tell if that was a green toad or if that was a spike. But I hope it was spike. It's my favorite guy. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Give me some good. I'll save this because I'm about to get into first. Slash, I can just hold on to it in case. Like, I'm far enough away I won't get hit by the um, blue shell. And I can always just knock him out if I need to. Okay, I'm in first. I'm in first. Here we go. Wow, a lot of mushrooms over there. Okay, yep, save it for the blue shell. Nice. Yeah, I thought the app was okay. I, I played it for a little bit, but it's like, I don't know if it was just like bad matchmaking or what, but like, I there was just no difficulty to it. I was just blasting through every race, easy. And I was just like, eh, it's fine. I also, I don't know, I didn't really like the, the phone controls very well. They're a little bit, um, I don't know, they just didn't feel good. This doesn't have a nice feel to them. Ah, 
Ah, yeah, back at it. I'm still feeling a little low energy. I still got some nauseous stuff going on, but I'm feeling a lot better. So I'll hopefully be streaming again. You know, maybe not quite as much as I was before, but a lot. I, I think I'm going to focus a little more on hanging out on other people's streams, you know? Spending some time in the community. I feel like that's really what's held me back from... Uh, really doing all that well because I have over a hundred subscribers and I'm a oh, uh -oh. I'm affiliate and everything or a hundred followers I should say sorry I got that YouTube brain uh, but I just I don't really get a lot of regulars or anything I don't have much of a community I got a discord server and everything you know but it's it's pretty dead I don't know, it's just hard to engage with people because I'm just very, very busy. I want to spend way more time with people, but it's, it's difficult. And there's like so many people out there streaming that I just, I understand. You know, you probably want to stick with the person you got. Even doing this, like I'm doing the like, new, the new Mario Kart stuff, but I'm sure people who want to see that are probably going to their regular Mario Kart 8 like stream that they like to watch to check it out rather than some Randy they don't know but it's all chill I'm just having fun it's just an excuse to play video games more than anything you know it's like lord knows with how busy I always am I don't always get the chance I never really played the DS Mario Kart either. I just never, I had a DS and I love Mario Kart, but I just, I never had that one. I don't know what's up. I just, I just, I just never got it. It was also at a time when, you know, I was fairly broke. I, I was like in high school when that happened and like, I was broke. So my, my family never, uh, Never had like an allowance or anything. I lived in the middle of nowhere, so there weren't like part-time jobs to get. So I basically just had to hope, beyond hope, that I could convince my parents to to buy me some. And you know, I still played a lot of interesting games. I never quite had as many games as I would have wanted, but I still played like you know. World Ends With You was a highlight. There was like a Spider-Man game I liked a lot. There was a lot of stuff. And then yeah, when I got out of high school and could like get a credit card, I bought a lot of stuff on the, the PSP marketplace. You know, played through a lot of the PlayStation games I'd never had. Oh yeah, Chaco Mountain, this is a classic. N64, baby. This this was my Mario Kart growing up, was the N64 one. I played a little bit of the Super Mario Kart. It was fine. And, I mean, Super Circuit was always the best one, for sure. But, like, this was the one I played the most because I could play it with my siblings. Plus, I remember when I was a kid, we'd, uh, we'd go to the McDonald's in town. And at, in the play place, they had three TVs set up with N64s. One of them playing Mario Kart, one of them playing Smash Brothers, and one of them playing something else. I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I would just sit there for hours and hours playing a ton of Mario Kart 64 and Smash. I'm pretty sure, I remember there being three TVs, but I don't remember what was on the third one. Maybe there just were two. Those were the, the golden days, right? You can't even... If you go into, like, a GameStop now, they don't even have, like, games set up, really. You know? I remember back in the day, they'd have the huge CRTs in, like, Target or Walmart just, like, set above the games. And you could just play demos. And I would just play the hell out of, like, the Crash Bandicoot 3 demo. Or, like, you know, all sorts. It's a grand old time, man. Ah, it was a good time to be a child. Now I'm an adult and I can afford all of the games, but I haven't any time to play them. That's truly, truly the tragedy of our times. Oh, jeez. I'm on page on my nose. So... Yeah, so far, pretty sweet. 
These tracks are not bad. This is not quite how I remember Choco Mountain going, but, you know, it is updated in ways. I wonder if the Weather Tanko would even work here. Probably not. I doubt that Mario Kart 8 works in the same way. Um, but if you don't know, the Weather Tanko is a speedrunning trick where you basically, like, ram yourself directly into the left wall right after you start the race and scoot yourself behind the finish line in a way that causes it to think you did a whole lap so that you can basically finish the entire the entire race in like 30 seconds incredibly difficult to pull off but uh super cool i think summoning salts has a video about that so check out summoning salts's choco mountain video Coconut Mall. Wii. I never played Wii either. I didn't have a Wii. And I never played Double Dead. It was really, I played a lot of the N64 one and a lot of the Game Boy Advance one. That was kind of it. Never really had any of the others. It's just like I always thought about uh, Mario Kart as like a multiplayer thing. And for a lot of my adult life, I was living on my own. So it was like, oh, why would I by a game that's mostly for multiplayer when I ain't got no one to play with. Now I have plenty of people to play with, and I have a stream, so plenty of reason to play the single player, too. Yeah, speaking of single player, I got, uh, for my birthday, Coco got me uh, a game called Horrified, the American Monsters Edition which is a co-op game where you're trying to like stop monsters. It was originally like a bunch of like um, universal monsters, like Frankenstein's monster, Dracula, Black Lagoon creature, all that, all that good stuff. But uh, this version is like all American cryptids, including the Jersey Devil, Bigfoot, and my man Mothman. Super excited for it. And there is a single player mode, so I'll probably stream stream a game or two of that sometime you know it's just I, I really need to get my stuff in order my room is kind of a mess right now because I was like sick for a week so I didn't have the energy or time to really put everything away and my table that I do most of my stuff on is just a mess so I deal with all that man I'm doing real trash in this one it is my first place in this thing Still got to go back and finish up the main capris. Oh yeah, Coconut Mall music is so good. That, I do like how he just holds the boo in his hand. Oh. Wow. I just smush him for it? Alright. Yeah. yeah, I'm very rusty. It's been a it's been a while. Nah. Well may as well have used it. Alright, I think I came in I came in second overall, that's not terrible. I'm deciding if I want to try and go through the two of these and then swing back to the other Grand Prix stuff. Because, like, there's only the two right now, and if I can get them before the next two come out, they'll be really, really good piecemeal stuff. Ooh, new vehicle customization option, eh? Still unlocking those. Even though I've been grinding for so long, there's still some left. All right, what's new? It's, whoa, GLA. No, 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 let's go with my, my huge. Where's it at, where's it at? There it is, P-Wing. And then yeah, let's try out the Lucky Cat Cup.
Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so this is a Tokyo one from Tour. early but I was good I also want to finish Jack X at some point I'm at the point in that game where it's just getting really frustrating and I don't like playing games that frustrate me both because being frustrated is annoying like it's frustrating and I, I don't know I feel like it doesn't really make for a good stream and all I'm doing is like getting annoyed it's not even like that game is that bad I think similar to, like, there's a lot of games that are great, like uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, really good game when you're playing casually, but if you try and play it seriously to, like, 100%, uh, it's a terrible game, because there's just way too much repeating and other nonsense, and it can be really annoying the way they handle that, so it's like, being a completionist, trying to do it hardcore, is no fun, but, uh... Doing games casually, a little more into. And I'm being a completionist with this, but Mario Kart is like so finesse that it's not even a big deal. Come on, get him. Get him on the turn. Ah. Yeah, sniped him. Whoa. Oh, whoop. That wasn't gonna open. Ah, dang it. Got me on the curve. Take that. Take that. Ah, ah. Man, this one's so good, too. Oh, well. Whoa. Here we go. Okay, third. I'll accept third on my first try. I'm gonna have an antihistamine. My my allergies are out of control. It's giving me that croakiness, which I so despise. Hmm. That throat spray is expired. I'm pretty sure. Oops. Ah, yeah, 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 that's gross. Well, I only hit it with one little spray, so I think I'll be okay. Gotta get some more. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I like when the question blocks move around. Yeah, question blocks and coins move in with the, uh... With the cars and stuff. Really cool. Really fun. Uh, whoa. I think that looks weird. Am I the only one? Something about him looks off. Is there, like, a color variant I haven't seen? I just actually I don't think I see Donkey Kong in a lot of these uh in a lot of the playthroughs I've done. He doesn't get auto picked for a lot of these Grand Prix, I don't think. But yeah, I wanna play more Mario Kart. I think I'll probably start doing like Mario Kart with viewers. Um in the future here, and then I'll continue with the Grand Prix stuff. I don't want to get pigeonholed as just a Mario Kart player, but like, you know, racing games are where where I'm at. With what I want to do with the stream, right? I love racing games, so doing it for a bit won't be too much of a problem. I just I don't see myself getting into like Gran Turismo or any of the like ones that are like for car people. I don't, I'm not really into cars. 
Like, I like driving cars, and some cars I think look cool, but I'm not, like, the type to, like, keep track of, like, all the cars that are coming out. Um... But I do like playing racing games. Need for Speed is pretty fun. Right? I think I'm thinking of Need for Speed. Did they make a movie of that? I think I vaguely remember a Need for Speed movie coming out. Maybe it was like a different... Different uh, racing game? Hmm. I don't know. Surprised there aren't like more Fast and Furious games. I think there's one based on the... The, like, cartoon they did? But I don't think there's any based on the movies. Maybe maybe a couple on, like, PlayStation or something. I haven't looked too deep into it, so... Can't say I'm an expert, necessarily. Whoa! I don't remember this. It's another GBA one, so I'm down. I should just play original Super Circuit on here sometime. It wouldn't be hard, like, GBA emulation is dead simple. Although maybe I should wait because I think people are theorizing they're going to start putting Game Boy games on a uh, e Switch Online. E -Switch. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to get to GBA anytime soon. In fact, they'll probably just start out with regular ones. The big thing is if they start doing that, people are going to immediately be like, Pokemon, right? like, not for nothing, but for the vast majority of people, all of the Nintendo handhelds have been Pokemon machines. First and foremost, right? That's like why, why the DS, the 3DS, all that did so well. But all that's gone away. They like dropped the DS, the 3DS so hard. It was, it was all around, and then, like, once the Switch was out, they're like, why bother? It's like, dang, dude. Like, it's cool because the Switch is still a handheld, technically, but, like, man, Nintendo was the only ones left who had multiple consoles going on. And now it's just, now it's nobody. Now everybody just has the one singular console. I really hope they put out, like, a... A secondary handheld. Well, why would they, though? Because it's like the Switch is already the most powerful handheld. The 3DS was super cool, but, like, it could only do so much. I don't know. I'd love to see PlayStation put out another handheld, because... Say what you will about the PSP and PS Vita, they were very strong consoles. They mostly fell apart because, as is always the case with PlayStation, their game library was pretty slim. You know, it was like the PS Vita was just a, a visual novel machine, basically. You get it for your Danganronpa, you get it for your Persona 4 Golden. Then the PSP was like mostly an emulation machine, and then they just kind of dropped it. Xbox has never done a handheld. I'd love to see them do one. But who knows? Who knows if they ever will? Just, I don't think that they're really in the market for that kind of thing, you know? It doesn't seem like they're, they're brand. Which is unfortunate, but at the same time, I get it. And just, it's very interesting. For a while, it was like, every console would have a handheld and a console version. Like the Game Gear. And then the Sega disappeared, and PlayStation didn't have a handheld for a long time. And they came out with the PSP, which was awesome. PSP is still one of my favorite consoles. But then Nintendo was just coming out with fire constantly with those handhelds. Like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Micro. Friggin, uh, I can't think of myself. Game Boy Advance SP. Dude, the Game Boy Advance SP is still one of the best consoles ever. It had such a great library of amazing games. It was super compact. Great battery life. It looked great. 
I, I don't even, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love Game Boy Advance. The day that they stopped, like, including support for that on the DS, I guess it was the 3DS, but they stopped having support for that, but, like, man, it's a sad time. Whoa. Up in the rafters. This reminds me, I uh, backed on Kickstarter a a game uh, a game called Floating Floors. It's a tabletop game where you play as ninjas, and you gotta go across. You gotta like make these little platforms for your ninja to walk across, and it's like a balance thing. And then to pick up the things that you're trying to grab, you have to you have to turn whatever platform your ninja is on at the time, 90 degrees, without them falling off. That's so clever. So it's like a dexterity thing, it's like a cute little, um, like kind of abstract, looks pretty cool. And yeah, it was pretty affordable. It's like, I think 35, 35 Australian? Maybe it was 35 US after uh, converting from Australia, but it should be coming out next year. Check it out. Maybe I think you can back uh, late pledge on that. Late back. Back back late. Whoa. This is a tricky course. Gotta say, this one's good. Really Finishing in the air, that's pretty rare. Not a lot of courses let you do that. Oh yeah, and I got a mark down. <laughs> oh, is that it? What one am I? Huh. I feel like I, I felt like that was only three. I mean, I tied for first. Not enough to get any stars, though. Let's see here. Shroom Ridge. Oh, I totally forgot about Shroom Ridge. That's what it was. All right. We're gonna go back through, and you know what? Actually, I'm gonna switch back to 50 CC. And we're just gonna start grinding through these. We're just gonna start grinding through the new ones. Why not? I ain't got nothing better to do. That's why I'm streaming. Ayo! Only took me a half hour to get through both cups, so. I think I can probably rip off some 50 cc's while I'm here. Wow, 50 cc is really slow. I mean, I get it, it's the, it's the easy mode, but like, wow. I mean, if I'm gonna 100% the Grand Prix, you know? Ah, crap. Let me get some coins. Nice, nice. My posture is terrible right now. I can already tell this is gonna be bad for my shoulders later. Oh, I haven't got the energy to adjust, though. Uh-oh. I want to get that last little burst. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm miles ahead of Mario there. This music's nice. I was thinking earlier, I can't remember what it was, but there was something where I was like, man, why hasn't Nintendo made an app of this yet? 
Because there's apps of all their big IPs, but there's one, what was it? There's like one specific one I was thinking like, man, this would make a great Nintendo app. I, I still think um, Pocket Camp is the best app they have so far. It's just the most to do, most robust, most like actual gameplay. Like it's a full on just Animal Crossing game. Like it's kind of like a softer version, but like even a light version of Animal Crossing is still effectively like a whole game unto itself. Um, Mario Jump is okay. Like that's like a full Mario game just in a very specific format. Whoa, what the heck? Link? Good? What, what's going on here? Why are they going backwards? Some, some up here? Oh, does this cross over at some point? I like lap them so hard that they're going backwards? Weird. I love hearing the silly lightning bolt versions of the songs. Very cute, very cute. Yeah, I've basically lapped everybody at this point. 50cc is a little too easy, but I just wanted to get through it, you know? It's gonna take a bit longer because you're just going so much slower. And there's only two cups to do for, for right now, so I'd prefer to just get them out of the way. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to do the 50s and the 100s. And then I'll switch back to doing the 150s of the regulars. You know, depending on what time that ends up being. Bit, bit tedious to go through the 50 cc's, but you know what? You want that 100%. Plus, you get some coins for the uh, customizations, so that's pretty nice. There we go. Lap one complete. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's taking me a while to get through these. That's yeah, Uh, while I, w I got to do some fun stuff in Seattle while I was up there for my birthday, I went to see Cirque du Soleil, which was the main point, you know, the main thing I wanted to do for my birthday. Haven't seen Cirque du Soleil in, you know, around seven years, but this is my fourth time seeing Cirque du Soleil. Uh, it was Allegria, which it was my, it was the second version of Allegria. It's like a remake of the 1994 show. And I got a DVD at the show of the 90s version. And it's like, yeah, they really improved it. The, ori the original looked fun. Like it's still Cirque du Soleil, but uh, it's just not. I don't know, after seeing the, the new improved one, it's like, man, it was just, it got so much better. Like, better, better choreography, better storyline. Like, they don't have too much story, Allegria, the Cirques, all those, but they have something. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, there was more of a story, it was handled way more interestingly. All of the costume designs were a lot more interesting, I think. Costume designs in the original were like fine, but these new ones. It's also, I had a front row seat, which was awesome. So I'd, I'd never seen Cirque from the front row. So cool. So worth it. I mean, there's not any bad seats in a Cirque house anyways, because it's a pretty small audience, but like. <coughs> Like, being right there, like, five feet from the stage. Incredible. So cool. Uh, I also went to the uh, Seattle Pinball Museum, which I'd been a couple times before. But it's super fun. You just pay, like, 20 bucks a person. 
they got snacks for sale and stuff, and they just have a ton of pinball machines. Everything from like stuff that came out last year to stuff from like the 60s set up on free play. So just, you know, play all the pinball you want. It was great. There was one that was super cool. It was from the 80s. It was called Haunted House. And it had it had eight flippers and three surfaces. So it had the regular pinball table. <coughs> Excuse me. And then in the corner, uh, it had one of those raised areas like they have sometimes. And so on the regular table, you have two flippers on each side. And on the raised area, you have a flipper on each side. They have their other own buttons, so there were four buttons to control the different flippers. But then if you went down a specific hole, there was like a totally different like pinball table underneath that was like reversed, where the ball was falling away from you and the flippers were on the opposite side from you. And it would like fall down to there and you'd have to work with it. It's, it was so, so weird and so interesting. They had other ones, they had like this like gravity one where like this, instead of having a bunch of bumpers and stuff, it was like a fiberglass uh, surface. And this fiberglass surface just had all these mounds and pits in it so that the ball would just like loop around like it was Mario Galaxy or something. And the, it just looked like it was like gravitating around these planets. It was super weird, super hard because it was like really unpredictable, but really cool. Going, come on, come on. Got, got triple hit there. Blue shelled, red shelled, and lightning bolt. Too much, guys, too much. Come on. Keep not having an item when they get me with the red shell. Come on, I can't lose this. I do not want to play through this cup on 50cc again. It's so slow. Sparks. Whoa, there we go. There we go, back up to speed. What little speed I can get in 50cc. And there we go. It's about to, oh, yeah, there's the blue shell coming after. 45, all right, one more to go. And then we can 50cc the uh, lucky cat. Oh, get some water. Oh yeah, coconut mall. Just gonna enjoy the, enjoy the music on this one. No, not the blue shell too. Oh man, this is a rough one.
didn't give me any warning on that red shell. Oh well. to go. Oh, the escalator switch. That's neat. Oh. Oh, they're just switching in general, eh? Oh, no, I can't do it as the small one. No, are you kidding? Oh, you can't, you can't go up the red ones like at all. Are you for, ah, uh, no. No, not now. I think there's enough space for me to get back up, but like, that's stupid, dude, come on. Okay, I got enough time to get back up, but man, that's, oh. I remember being able to get up the red ones on the other playthrough. I don't know. Maybe I had more boost? Okay, okay. I can make it just barely in time. Bam, there we go. Three starred. Perfect 60. I don't need the playback. There we go. Three starred. Don't have to play those on 50cc again. Thank goodness. The 50cc is where I'm most nervous because, like, while it's easy, it takes so long. And if I mess it up, I have to go through it all again. And I'm not, I'm not into that. go. Not too early. Oh, oh, guess not. I get enough leads so that when they do some nonsense like that, no matter too much. Oh, wow, I'm already on to the second lap. This is a pretty short course. I think all the tour courses are, though. Or at least, like, a good amount of them. Finally found, I've been looking forever, I finally found a grocery store tortilla that is the size of like a Chipotle, like huge burrito tortilla, like the, the big, big ones. And uh, yeah, it's uh, El Paso Grande burritos. They're gigantic, it's exactly what I wanted. So tonight I'm making some huge freaking burritos. Super stoked on it, man. Granted, I don't have a ton of stuff. Um, 
should have bought more burrito stuff though, because I didn't think about it at the time, because I was like, well, these are, they say they're big, but they're probably not that big, but it's like, no, they're exactly what I wanted, and now I'm like, oh, crap. Should have bought a bunch more burrito stuff, but I think it'll be alright, you know, rice, beans, avocado, whatever. Delicious. Delicious good. Alright, here we go. Oh, I should have got some mushrooms. Mushrooms would have been great. And maybe I'll swing out and get some mushrooms. Fry them up. Can't really do cheese or anything anymore, unfortunately. Definitely, I've I've finally I finally had to admit to it myself. It's like nope, too lactose intolerant to handle it. I can handle like a little bit of cheese, maybe, but it just it hurts my intestines too much. The lactose, so we're having to cut that out. And I'm having to cut out, like, greasy foods, too. It's, I'm turning 30, you know. I just got to take better care of myself. Or rather, I am 30 now. My birthday was just a couple weeks ago, so. I just have to, I have to take better care of myself. I, I'm doing all right, you know? Um, the problem that ended up happening was I went in for, like, I went in for, like, a checkup, and there was, you know, stuff going on with that, and I, I got my blood work done, um, and, uh, my blood work showed that my, my liver ends, I'm really high, and it's like, that's not, that doesn't make sense, I don't, like, drink all that much, I do, like, a lot of supplements, but I guess, I don't think it'd be that bad, and then, yeah, I just started feeling so crappy, and I was just, like, nauseous, no appetite, and I was like, oh, I guess I just got sick right as I decided to see this doctor. But then I realized, wait a minute, and it took me like three weeks to realize this. Wait a minute, that all coincided with this like allergy medication she put me on. So I realized it's like, oh, it's not any of that. The allergy medication is messing up my, my liver or whatever. So I got off of that, felt sick, super sick for like a week because I think I was just detoxing, honestly, from that. And yeah, I'm not fully great, because it can take like months for your liver enzymes to go back down. But I'm feeling a lot better, you know? I'm able to stream, I'm able to work, I'm able to get out of bed. Like, I was in such, such a bad place for that week that I like, I just couldn't get out of bed. I felt so gross. Couldn't eat anything other than like some soup. But yeah, my, my appetite has come back. I still have some nausea in the morning, but I got a prescription for that. So I'm just feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling much healthier. I gotta start getting back to the gym. I'll probably take it real easy because I was just, I kept trying, just kept going way too hard. Messing up my joints. My wrists are still, I think I might have done some like permanent damage to my wrists. But we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, probably, probably some light, light weight work and some cardio. Because I've also lost a lot of weight because I had no appetite for so long that I just wasn't eating very much. I'm still not, because I was already, like, you know, almost 20 pounds overweight, I'm still in a pretty safe zone. But it's it's concerning when your weight starts dropping like that. So I was just like, ooh. An eye on that, but yeah, I think, I think I'm doing better. I'm feeling better at least. That's that's what's important. Um, and yeah, that uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back to marathon streaming sometime. I think next next Saturday would be the next marathon stream. I'll probably do a shorter marathon. One of the shorter games I have. What's going on? Oh, that was weird. It just stopped accelerating. Uh, one of the shorter marathons I have planned, and then in April, last Saturday of the month, 
we're gonna do a banjo kazooie marathon stream benefiting bigs for kids and uh you know it'll be cha for charity so if y'all could donate and watch that'd be great any any revenue i get from the stream itself will go to wigs for kids and um any donations obviously i'll make my own donations of about ten dollars per hour it takes me because i'm gonna do a hundred percent banjo kazooie run which will probably take me between eight to eleven hours i think so um yeah we'll, we'll see how that works out and then at the end of the stream i will be cutting my hair to donate it because I've been meaning to cut, donate my hair for a long time. It hasn't grown any longer. It's at around like a foot long. And it's like, yeah, it's it's about time. It's gonna be summer soon. I just want, want some short hair again for like at least the summer. But I'll probably start growing it out again to do uh, another live stream. I, it took me, I think like three years to get it to this length, but it's been, like seven since my last like major haircut no! so i'm i'm real uh real excited for it honestly gonna gonna do something good give give back in whatever way i can you know all right last one and then i think i will take a break before i hop into the hundred cc's Bam. Good start. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Whoop. Oh, that's oh, watch out. Oh, what else? Uh, I saw the Jujutsu Kaisen movie yesterday. It's all right. You know, definitely feels like, um, feels like a little rushed. It took a little bit of time to really get into it. The first, first hour or so is like, yeah, this is all right. You know, they're introducing us to a new character. Who I think is going to be a big part of the, uh, the upcoming season from things that they said basically but um, but yeah it's like a prequel and it got pretty fun towards the end for sure it I mean it's still great action you get to see plenty of cameos from all of the fun characters we've come to know it's mostly about the the Tokyo class the second years um, you see in the main series. No, 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 not until I land. Oh, okay. I didn't want to have to get lactitude up. I mean, I still have plenty of space here, but this was frustrating to get lactitude. What? Uh oh. Ah, dang it! I messed that up. Open a boost off it. And shabam. Oh, wait. Still got another lap left. Sorry, I'm so used to it being done by then. It's these uh these 50 cc's take so long. Oh man, this makes me think of uh in Ave Mario Origami King. There's that um Ah, uh, there's a uh, freaking what is it? Sh Shy Guy Studios? That's like based on the Toho like Studios Park. It's so fun. I, I think that's easily my favorite part of that game. I mean, it's all pretty good. The, the, that game, it's the first bit is kind of frustrating because of how they handle the tutorials. You know, it takes, uh, it takes a long time to get started, but once you get past the tutorials, it is real good. In a way that Paper Mario 
hasn't really been in a bit. Like, Paper Mario's been fine, but you can never compare to the original couple, you know? Thousand Year Door, still haven't played it, but I, I hear that one's incredible. And I've seen people play it and it looks great. Yeah, I've played the hell out of the original Paper Mario. I mean, you can see that I've played it on stream. You can check it out. All right. Nice. All right, so we are gonna get into the 100 CCs. Um, but first I'm going to take a break. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll BRB with more of the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks in just a minute. Okay, okay.
back again from the primordial depths. It's me, Iggy. Okay. We're gonna crack into the 100 cc's now. Sounds like too many cc's to me. A little greedy. All right. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. I feel pretty good that I can get the 100 cc's. Um, the 150s... I'm gonna aim to do the 150s in this stream for at least the two new cups, but... I can't guarantee, you know? Right, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried. 150 cc's is where it actually gets kind of difficult. 100 cc's, I feel like I'll still have a pretty decent lead for a good portion of it. The AI just starts being a lot more aggressive with the items once you hit 100 cc. And it actually starts being pretty smart when you hit, uh, 150. Whoops. Uh, let me know what you guys think about me streaming Uncharted as well. I'd, I'd do the single player. Because I saw the movie and I actually really liked the movie. Um, from what I hear, that's not what the characters in the games are like at all. Which is kind of disappointing because I really, I, I loved these just super snarky, clever little jerk characters, you know? I felt, uh, yeah, it, it, I, I liked their banter. I think Tom Holland is still a great action star, as always. Like, I, I'd like to see him do more serious stuff. There was that one, what the devil, the devil at the time, I think it was called. It was on Netflix. That one looks really good. Um, yeah, I, I wish we would stop giving work to Marky Mark because it's it always sucks seeing him getting work. He's such a garbage man. But well, you know what? It was a fun, fun little adventure movie, you know? It was kind of modern Indiana Jonesy. I mean, that's what Uncharted has always been, right? It's just like the send-up of the, the Indiana Jones adventure movies that you don't really ever see anymore. And yeah, this track is weird. How oh, it loops back on itself. I still don't fully comprehend it, but I like it. Nice, nice. All right. There we go. I had uh, on the break. I got some, uh, from Target yesterday, I got some everything seasoned cashews. Really good. I mean, it, it tastes like, you know, it tastes like an everything bagel with cashews. So that's, you know, two of my favorite things. Love cashews, love an everything bagel. Um, one thing is that now streaming, pulling all kinds of seeds out of my teeth. Hope it's not, grossing up the audio, but if it is, apologies, as always. There we go. Yep. 
Yeah, 100 CC doesn't work. And it's not quite as slow as 50 CC, so it doesn't feel as tedious. Still gonna be pretty upset if I have to repeat either of these cups on 100 CC. Just... Ooh, that'll be a obnoxious, but I think I'll be all right. I bet there's a speedrunning strat to get just on that bridge. I don't know what it is. Oh, ah. Uh, I saw it. I kept trying to dodge it. Bad job of that. You know what? I'd like to see a documentary about how they make racetracks. You know? Like, it's just like laying concrete and stuff, but like, where are the logistics, you know? How do you decide exactly when to curve it and at all the angles and stuff. What special considerations would you have to make um, that you wouldn't make if it was a, a standard standard road? These are the things that interest me. Mm, yeah, there we go. First try. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's my favorite. When it starts with them looking at the camera and then they look forward. It's such a cute little detail and it, I just, I love that they thought of that. I love how, like, country, a lot of these uh, N64 tracks, uh, soundtracks were. Good stuff, good stuff. So stoked to make burritos later. When I was up in Seattle, I got to go back to Taco Del Mar, which is, uh, you know, it's fine. It's it's basically like Chipotle, um, but it's more like relaxed cantina style, and it's it's so I don't know. It's nostalgic for me because I ah, dang it, I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to waste that. It's so nostalgic for me because, like, I worked at Taco Del Mar and I ate it as a kid because it was just this place where you'd go for giant burritos and Chipotle wasn't around yet. And it was basically like Subway for burritos. I'm pretty sure Subway has has uh, bought them at this point, so it's literally Subway but burritos. And it's, you know, it's fine. It's not, like, anything special, but honestly, neither is Chipotle. You know, I don't think Chipotle is anything special because it's just... The same concept of just like ready-made burritos. And uh, or rather made-to-order burritos. But it's like cheaper than Chipotle and it doesn't have all these airs of being like, oh, it's so, it's so fancy, we're like a cafe. It's like, no, you're not. That's what you're paying for with Chipotle, the ambiance. You're not paying for like, higher quality ingredients or like some kind of some special it's just a burrito bro it's just stuff in a tortilla it's good but it's it doesn't need to be that expensive um but yeah that's basically what i'm gonna be able to make because i finally got huge tortillas ah well, i've looked desperately for years and years i can never find the big, big ones, you kind of have to go to, like, a Mexican bakery or something. Or, like, a Mexican, uh, grocery to find them. I finally found some. And we're going ham. Woo! 
similar to making like sushi. Uh, it's just gonna be a lot of threat. I think. That's the big thing is there's a lot of foods out there where making the thing itself, like that, that's half the reason why you go to Subway or Chipotle is because it's not like you couldn't make all of that home pretty easily. It's that it would just be so annoying to like cut up all those pieces for yourself and buy them. It's like just being able to go to a place where they already have a bin of tomato and lettuce and turkey or whatever and just have them put it together for you. Like, it's just convenient. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you can make it at home, it's usually going to be better for you. It's usually going to be tasty. If you know what you're doing. It's just going to be work. I'm only now getting back to cooking, you know, I, I, it's, it's been a bit, I was, I was on vacation, and then I was sick, so, you know, not a lot of cooking. Whoops, shouldn't have used up that banana so early, but it should be fine. Yeah, see, banana would save me from that. Oh well, sometimes it happens. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, dang it. That's it. Whoa! Here we go, here we go. Whoa! There we go. That was a little closer. Tanuki Mario was right on my tail. <laughs> uh, we both got tails in this case. Not very common with Mario. But, yep, that does it for that one. And a hundred shishis. Now we're gonna do the Lucky Cat Cup. Hey, new customization option. All right. What's new? Whoa, the bee dasher. How's this look? Hmm. It's pretty good. I like having a decent amount of acceleration, though. Or I guess not. Where's the one? I usually had like a different tire, didn't I? I think, yeah, let's go highest top speed. I can get. Oh, oh, squirrel is a higher speed. Ah, we got the turnip cup, propeller cup, rock cup, moon cup, spiny cup, acorn cup, cherry cup, feather cup, boomerang cup, fruit cup. Oh, I'd love a fruit cup. Sounds delicious. Ooh, I should make a smoothie after this. I got a Nutribullet, so now I can make smoothies whenever the heck I want. And it's way less of a pain to deal with than the, uh, than the uh, blenders I've had. I don't know what it is. I can never get blenders to work for me. But the Nutribullet seems to work out. I got it for cheap at an outlet store. And I got a bunch of frozen fruit. So, yeah, all the, all the smoothies you want. We got cherry, uh, pineapple, mango, we got peaches, we got banana, we got strawberry, we got triple berry medley, we got kale. For the hell? 
Although I don't even like Mango. I got that from my roommates. So hopefully they'll enjoy it. Uh, the first time I made one, I uh, made it a little too savory. I guess not savory, but like it, it was not s very sweet. Put too many, too much kale. You know, sometimes you need to put a little honey in there, maybe. And maybe a little sugar. Or oats. Oats are pretty good to have in a smoothie. You know? My, the one I'd get if I went out and got a smoothie is this uh, triple berry oat thing where it's like cranberry, blueberry, strawberry, uh, oats, protein powder, multivitamin. And it's it comes with Splenda, but I, I have them take the Splenda out because I don't need that. I'm not a fan of Splenda. What can I say? I don't like most of the artificial sweeteners in general. Personally, if I want sweets, I go for honey because honey is much better for you. It's got a lot of really good, good things that your body needs. And it doesn't go bad uh, because it is uh, antibiotic. So I literally cannot house bacteria. I could be wrong on that. Don't, don't quote me. So that's my understanding, is that it, it's, you, they've literally found like honey in like ancient tombs in jars and they're just like, this honey is still perfectly fine. No, nothing in it that could kill you. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty old, but that's not it. Yeah, yeah, I'm real stoked on smoothie. I'm totally gonna make a smoothie while I make dinner. That'd be awesome. Oh boy, we're coming. I mean, I'm probably gonna play through the 150cc still, so probably gonna end this around four, I wanna say. But uh, yeah, I wonder who will stream over. It. it really depends on who's online. You know, if someone I know is online. We, if someone, uh, otherwise, then I go to the category I'm streaming, so you know, Mario Kart 8 in this case. And I, I find a new friend. But yeah, I've been real spotty with my streaming lately, so apologies to the followers. You know? Not the most of my followers even watch my Twitch streams. I don't know. I don't mind. The thing that always happens is I play a specific game, get like a couple followers who are there for that particular game, and then I don't stream that game again because I'll, I'll finish it, and those people don't come back. It's like, it's fine. I understand, but also like, man, how do you build a community? You know? Not, not certain. thing that usually uh, does well is tabletop, like the board games, I get alright numbers on those streams. Honestly, I was doing really well as a, an Oath streamer for a while, but then like, my computer almost blew up because I was, <laughs> I was just overtaxing the hell out of it. So I'm waiting until I can get a new computer, which isn't too far off, hopefully. Um, you know, I got some medical bills and got some taxes I still gotta pay. Um, but I have savings now, so, you know. I'm, I'm waiting until I can save up at least twice what it'll cost, so I, I need to save up at least five grand outside of, like, my tax, you know, my tax savings and stuff. Um, but I'm not that uh, I think, like, in a couple months I'll be able to do it. But I also, you know, don't want to go too crazy because I still want to be able to, like, be able to go see my family again. I've seen them a lot. I saw them at Christmas, went there for my birthday, gonna go back sometime in the summer, and then I'm gonna go back for next Christmas. So it's a lot of traveling. But it's good. It's good to get out of 
out of the home for a while. What I need is I need to set up my business a bit more conducive to remote work. Because the thing as it is now, it's like, I don't have to go into studios or anything. I just record from my home studio. But, um, as it is, pretty much most of my work is very short deadlines. So I can't, that I can't really meet as well when I'm not in my home studio and having to record remotely. So I just need to find more, um, I need to find more clients who are okay with it being a 24-hour turnaround, which is still very good. I think that's the thing that frustrates me, is 24 hours, great turnaround. For a whole, for a whole voiceover, yeah, that should be plenty for most people. No, oh, so many of my deadlines are just like, get it to us in 30 minutes, get it to us in like five hours, and it's like, dude, I can't work like that, you know? Not forever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get too old for it eventually. So I just gotta, I gotta find more clients. I gotta do some direct marketing, you know, call people up, email some people. It's, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's been, it's especially difficult with social anxiety. I hate talking on the phone in general, so the idea of calling someone up in the hopes that they'll give you work is like, oh man. Real, real uh, nerve wracking, but you know what? I just gotta do it. That's the kind of job I've gotten for myself. Gosh, and I, I, what I'd really love to do is move to Vancouver, BC, but everything I hear is that the immigration is terrible if you're not like an essential like medical worker or something. Like, they want doctors and such. They don't. They're not looking for another, you know, another actor coming in to try and play their hand. I guess if I, I signed up with the union, because I'm pretty sure the, uh, the American and the Canadian voiceover union have, like, come together at this point? Maybe not. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not in the union, but maybe I should join it because most of the gigs I want to do are union gigs, so I don't know. It's just like once you once you join the union, you can't do anything non-union, at least not easily. And while it pays better, it's also like there are less union gigs than there are non-union. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not in this to make money. I'm in this to be in cartoons and video games. That's what I've always wanted to do as a voice actor. So why am I not, why am I so focused on what's going to make me more money versus what's going to give me some dang cartoons? Well, maybe move to L.A. Oh, that's so expensive, though, and I hate L.A. L.A. is like a terrible city. It's just hot and dry. Traffic is awful. Hollywood itself is just like such a scummy place. But it is where the work is. I don't know, maybe I should do like ProZD. I just make some sketches, get myself out there. Eventually, eventually do some other bits. Whoa. Goodness. Ah, everybody's ganging up on me. Stop. Stop. I just want to finish this off, please. All right, let's go. There we go. Ooh. 
me up. Oh, there we go. While I was in Seattle, I listened to a lot of this podcast that my dad's been listening to. Like, anytime we were in the car, he was playing it. It's called The Truth About Vintage Amps. It's just about, like, you know, amplifiers for guitars. Right? But it's such a weird format because the, the, the host is this, like, very, like, relaxed NPR-sounding guy who's on a good microphone. And he has the guy, the expert, who's actually answering the questions. It's a Q&A type podcast. It's just this old dude calling in on his like cordless phone from his home in somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Northern California. And he's just such a weird, he's such a weirdo. It's so bizarre that he's calling in when he's like the main focus of the show. All right, let's get into the 150ccs. And he just it ends up saying the most wild stuff. It's so funny. And like, you know, I'm I don't really know much about amps, but like I'll probably listen to some of it on my own cuz it's it's super it's super uh super weird. Sometimes a personality will supersede like a topic when it comes to podcasts, you know? Wow. That's why any of those movie podcasts end up doing well. It's like whoever's on there is just uh just a Friggin' weirdo, and you're like, what is going on? Yo! Yeah, we were just talking about um, podcasts on drums. And how they want to do a podcast, but they don't have a concept. And that's the big thing, is the podcast either needs a big name, like host, which they're they're big enough names that I think they do okay. Or and it doesn't it can be both, but you gotta have at least one of these elements, or you need to have a very interesting concept. Like, you know, true crime or serial or whatever does really well. Uh but then it's like it's kinda limited because if your serial was about like one specific case, right? So you can't you can't do that forever. So, that's kind of a difficult thing to have any longevity with, but at the same time, it's like, it is pretty good. So, I you could do several series as this. I don't know. It's also, podcasting is harder than it seems from the outside, because, like, editing is a lot of work. And the... Um, just, like... There's a good example. Narration. Unscripted narration is very difficult. You know, trying to... Trying to keep a thought together. Trying to keep your, uh... Train of thought while you're trying to do other things is very difficult to do naturally. And, you know, it's it's harder on a stream because you just have something that is distracting you. What keeps going on? My A button just keeps, like, crapping out. I need to get a new controller. Oh man. I don't want to get a new controller. I still gotta get new glasses. And I gotta get a new phone. My phone's, like, really crapping out now. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. How's it going, ya? That's all right. I'll get a little more practice on here. So we'll keep going cash. Ah.
And you know what? I am having a decent time, but it's getting kind of warm in here, and I still don't have a ton of energy after being sick, so I think after I finish up this cup, I'm going to call it and raid over to somebody. But thanks for everybody who's tuned in. I hope you had a good time. Hope you are also enjoying these new Mario Kart tracks. And I hope you have a great weekend. If you haven't yet, uh, please consider, you know, subscribing and or following. It would really help me out, you know, show, show support for the show. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to be putting out more content soon. You know, I'm going to do that charity stream, which would be awesome. And I'm going to do more Mario Kart. I'm going to do some other games I got on the docket. I want to play Later Alligator on the stream. I played that off stream. Uh, and it's it's incredible. It's one of my favorite games now. It's so fun. It's so fun. It's so cute. Great personality. Love the characters. And unlike a lot of visual novels, it's like it's got a lot of fun like puzzle gameplay. It's got a ton of animation, and it's like not that long. You know, it kind of expects you to go a couple runs, but it doesn't take that long to 100%. Uh, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. Gonna play that at some point, because that's, you know, that one looks really cute and fun. I watched Coco play a good portion of that. Um, and it's a pretty short one. In fact, I think I might do that as my marathon next week. That'd be a good one for it. Because it doesn't take very long at all, you know? I think to 100% it only takes, like, three hours, maybe? It's a very small game, but it's very good. Uh, again, just tons of personality. Love me a game with some personality, you know? I want me a guy who will pay for parking on a Saturday. This kind of thing really butters my egg roll. I got to check in on Evan Green. I haven't really watched much of him since he left Vine, but he does YouTube now. It's still pretty fun. I think Vine was definitely like his his like spot. Um, like uh, it, it just, the format just worked really well with his comedy. But, you know, maybe he's probably on TikTok now, right? There's a lot of people from Vine that have moved over to TikTok. One or two of them were on Byte for a little bit. Which, I liked Byte. I, I did it for a while, but it just, uh... Yeah, I just, I don't know, ran out of ideas, I guess? Or I just ran out of motivation? Even though it's so... Why did I, why did I waste the punch? I could use that for something else. Or not, actually, because the blue shell knocks all the stuff out of your pockets. Eh, yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah, Bite, Bite was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Well, it lasted. I don't know, same with TikTok. I feel like I have some good ideas for TikToks. I just, it's just enough work, even though it'd only probably be like a half hour of work. Like, I've done some dubs of memes and stuff that are, I think are pretty fun and have gotten pretty decent numbers on Twitter. Um, but they take like at least an hour to put together and it's like, hey, they're fun, I enjoy doing them, but when there's other work that I gotta do for like, on me, uh, nah, I don't know. Ow, ow, hey, bats, bats! Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Okay. The rock is getting a little close. Aw, oh, man. Dude, he sniped me. Did you see that? Did you see the skills on Ludwig van Koopa? See, here's something I appreciate that Jack X wasn't doing. Is, uh, you can see on the minimap where the finish line is. How is that so hard, Jack X? Come on. 
Come on. So silly. So silly. All right, Coconut Mall. Let's finish it out. Best music. Here we go. It's like it'd be a nice place to go. I haven't been to a mall in forever because like it was the pandemic and then it's like as you're going through the pandemic you realize like oh there's not really anything I need from the mall. And when I go there I just end up spending a lot of money that I shouldn't be. So it's probably best not to go but it's, it's fun. I like I like getting like a boba tea going to going to FYE or Hot Topic or something. Just kind of browsing. Then I, if I have money and I do that, I buy stupid stuff, so... I bought uh, I bought the Undertaker like DVD compilation that comes in like the coffin. It's so cool looking, but I've never watched it. I've, ne I've never sat down and actually watched it. And I've had it for like years now. I don't know. There's so many DVDs I've bought that I haven't watched. You got the whole series of uh, Bump in the Night, which is it's a good show if I remember correctly. But, uh, I haven't sat down and watched that one. We got the Cowboy Boop Bop, which we're waiting to watch with Coco, because Corey and I have both seen all of Cowboy Bebop show and movie, but Coco hasn't. Oh, that live action show. I'm going back and forth. I hear people say it's really bad, but people say a lot of things are really bad that I end up liking, so. I think I just don't jive with the common taste, you know? Here we go, coming in ninth. It's your boy. It's your fella. Iggy Hoopa. Wah. Ah, terrible showing. It's so bad. Yeah, fourth overall, geez. All right, well, that'll do it for today, everybody. So thanks very much for watching. We're gonna raid over to somebody, but you know, check out all my social media down below, join my Discord server, what, um, follow, subscribe, all of that. Uh, come back on Tuesday for some more stuff. And hey, no one else has told you this? I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see who there is to raid over to. Let's see. Um, where's my phone? It's in my pocket. Oh, jeez, my back's asleep. Eh. I was sitting weird. Ooh. Feels strange. All right. Um. Jack, Queen of Thieves. Let's go with Queen of Thieves. Eve Threes. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna raid over. Slash raid Queen of Thieves. All right, come on, come on. Is it, is it working? I'm not seeing the option to, uh, to raid. Did I spell it wrong? I think I might've spelled it wrong. Let's try that again. Oh, wait, wait. Is that it? Is that the dialogue I need? I think it's just taking a long time. Can I 
do it. Um, I guess, let me, Rick, it's not working, come on, dude. Sorry, sorry, it's having troubles. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Uh, yeah, it's not working. Hold on, I gotta do it from the app. Slash read. Mean of, no, I spelled it wrong. Mean of. That's it. Let me send it. Thank you. Okay, let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. I'll see you probably Tuesday, maybe tomorrow for a little thing. I don't know. See how my energy is, but goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.